Who is mowing the damn lawn? Of course, we have to have people, you know, mowing their lawns while I'm trying to film a YouTube video. It's just, it's really convenient. Like, so convenient. Like, like, really, really, like, like, supreme convenience, you know? Hi! Um, hello. Alright, so hello YouTube. How are we doing? Um, are we thriving? Are we dying? Are we doing both? I'm kind of doing both right now. In case you haven't been following me on Instagram, which if you haven't been following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Get on it, girl. Follow me. You don't have to be a girl. You can be anybody. I like guys, non-binary people, anybody and everybody, follow me. I don't know why I'm clapping. I just am. It's the thing we're doing now. No, it's not. Oh, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that the queen, Zberg, my love, my one and only, the, the woman I've dedicated my life, my life's purpose to. One sound ends and another sound begins, bloody hell. The one time I sit down and I'm just like, I'm gonna film a YouTube video. So I have been featured on Z's live streams a couple times, which has shaken me to my core. Hi! 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 <laughs> oh my god, I love you so much! Hi! Hello! <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? I played one of Z's songs for her, which is crazy. There'll be pain in your head as there always is, as long as I'm around you. Alex Greenwald from Phantom Planet complimented it. And I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still like just, 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 ah. <laughs> but yeah, that was the thing that happened. Um, Follow me on Instagram if you don't want to miss more things like that because you don't want to miss me fangirling in front of Z for like a solid five minutes. Z recently made a post on the Dead End Kids Club Instagram asking people to turn in videos to be in a music video. I'm presuming it's for a music video. I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm presuming. I'm probably, I, I don't know. Many a many a many a years ago, Z put up a makeup tutorial, a three part makeup tutorial. And today, I'm gonna be following it. So as we can see, I already have the Zberg hair um, based on the tutorial that she put on her Instagram. Also, I've been doing braid crowns since 2018, so I've gotten rather good at them. I picked the most zizerizer esque outfit I could think of, uh, which is a frilly lacy top and a mini skirt. So anyway, the only thing we're missing is the makeup, which is what I'm here to do. Um, which is also why we're not in front of my wall, because right here I have my hair, I have my mirror, so if I'm looking here a lot, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. Because that's how I figure out what I'm doing. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let us begin. I've been asked many times over the years, um, you know, how I do my makeup, or why I do my makeup, oftentimes by my parents. And, you know, we figured today that I would give you a little bit of a tutorial as to how to do it. Okay, I just want to say, Z is a, the queen of comedy. Like, just, I'm not wrong though, am I? Don't you dare tell me I'm wrong, I'm not wrong. Z is the queen of comedy, I will not take criticism. Next. And like all good makeovers, it starts with glasses. The first thing you do to make a young lady beautiful is take off her glasses in every movie. Grandma says, uh, guys don't make passes at girls that wear glasses. Okay, so I already took off my glasses. I'm wearing contacts, so I can see. I'm just not wearing my glasses. So that's been done. Next. It's also just makeup, it's not like tattoo. Ooh, oh. ooh, la di da. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna foundation up the face. Now, I um, am not a foundation user. I don't tend to wear foundation uh, solely because, as we can see, I have a lot of beauty marks and, uh, when I cover them up, I look weird. <laughs> so I don't tend to wear foundation. But for the queen, Zizer Izer, I'm gonna wear foundation. Uh, so my foundation, I don't know what foundation she uses in here, and even if I did know, uh, I'm quarantined, so I can't go and buy anything right now um, and have it come in, you know, three days. It'll take me three weeks to get anything. Uh, so we're gonna be using L'Oreal True Match in the color Natural Ivory. This is a bit too light for my skin, but it's okay. Um, 
We could we could take some some creative liberties here. <laughs> it's okay. I can look like shit. It's okay. We're in quarantine. Who gives a crap? I can look like shit. So she kind of just put it on her fingers, uh, which me too. So we're just gonna smooth it on out. This is too light for my skin. I have kind of more of like a like a olivey kind of complexion, but. Whatever. <laughs> This is way too light! Okay, actually, if I smooth it out, it doesn't look that bad. Yeah! Yeah, if I smooth it out, it doesn't look that bad. I just have to really blend it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do my whole face now. Uh, I'm probably gonna fast forward it here. Oh my, <laughs> there is such a big color difference here. <laughs> oh no, I knew this was gonna be a mistake. <laughs> oh god. Hi, all right, so my face is completely covered in foundation. Um, it's generally quite blended. I kind of look like the ghost of Christmas past. I feel, I, I feel my skin way more than I should be able to feel my skin. So I think that means we did a great job. Well, anyway, let's listen to the queen and see what we have to do next. I'm gonna powder you up a little bit first because- Oh, great. Yeah, which feels lovely on a man's skin. Cause I've found that if you, if you put a little powder on your eyelid and around your eye before you start putting on your eye makeup, it'll make it stay longer. Next step is to apply powder, which I do that already, so this is easy for me. Here is my powder of choice. It is Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Talc-Free uh, Mineral Face Powder in Translucent. Surprisingly, you can actually find this, like you can buy it. My mom bought this like God knows how many years ago, and I just use it. But yeah, we're gonna powder up my sexy face and hope for the best. All right, I think my face is powdered. Now on to the next step. Oh yeah. Oh my God, your eyebrows are so long. It's insane. I got wizard eyebrows. You really do. Or dragon eyebrows or something. <laughs> okay, so in the video, Z fills in Alex's eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil. Uh, here's the funny thing, I don't have an eyebrow pencil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the old fashioned uh, Maria method of filling in my eyebrows, which is taking this e.l.f. palette, uh, picking the brown shade that I like, and using that to fill in my brows. So what I like about this is we're kind of, we're combining uh, what Z does with a little bit of what I do, so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not fully following Zberg's tutorial like it's the Holy Bible. I'm following pieces of Zberg's tutorial because I'm in quarantine and I can't go out and buy all of the things she said she uses. All right, so as I mentioned before, we're gonna be using this 100 color palette from e.l.f. Uh, we're going to be specifically using this brown shade right over here because that's my eyebrow shade. Um, I just know that. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna fill these babies in and uh, see when they're done. I just realized my eyebrows are just naturally uneven. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that before this for some unfathomable reason. Yeah, it's just lovely. It's funny, I've been told I'm good at makeup, but I have a feeling this video is going to make a lot of people who have complimented me on my makeup reconsider. All right, uh, eyebrows are done. Uh, they're thicker. So now I like to start just using my fingers for eyeshadow. I'm gonna close my eyes for you're this. You're gonna way. look up what oh. you're going to do. 
So we're gonna start by just putting a little eyeshadow on the bottom. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> okay, so she put some red in her eyes, so I'm gonna do the same thing because I'm Zeberg stand number one. Uh, we're gonna be returning to my 100 color elf palette for this because this has lots of reds. Uh, so yeah, we're applying it with our fingers because that's what the queen told us to do. And we listened to the queen. So that's what we're gonna do. This isn't the first time I've done this, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I have a friend who's really into makeup who's probably watching this going, oh my god, she's doing everything wrong. Um, so she kind of put it in the corner, the very corner of Alex's eye. So that's what we're gonna do. A little bit messy. Not as pigmented. She used a very pigmented color. So I'm thinking if we just pick up more shadow and just slather it on, I think we'll get more pigment. A little bit messy. We'll admit I'm definitely more used to using makeup brushes. <laughs> Especially when it comes to finer details. I usually like I'll use my finger to apply like the base But then for like little like details like this. I usually won't use my finger Z used her finger and we follow in the doctrine of Z, you know, just very much so So I always like I start with like a kind of reddish liner now you can close or a reddish shadow and then I do a very controversial thing which is I line the eyes a little bit with red lip liner. Okay, so Z kind of takes the color and brings it to the the corner of the eye, the upper corner instead of the lower corner. So we're gonna do that too because we follow Z's doctrine to a T. As my mom said when I was born, this could be worse. She didn't say that, I'm kidding. My mom loves me, I think. Uh, so I took the shadow a little bit more on my brow bone than Z did, <laughs> um, which might be breaking the holy doctrine, but we'll see. Just for a little bit of, you know, color base, look up underneath the brown eyeliner. Uh, I guess I have sensitive <laughs> eyelids. Oh man. And yeah, I forget, it's also a lot easier to do this to yourself than to another person. <laughs> now you look like a zombie. <laughs> Okay, red lip liner. I actually have red lip liner, so we're gonna use it. Um, my red lip liner of choice is Sephora Lip Liner To Go. I'm in the shade Classic Red. But yeah, let's line the, with my eyes. Okay, she kinda, she doesn't do the whole eye, she kinda just stays in the corner, so we're gonna do that too. Uh, fun fact, one time I did my, I used um, lip liner to line my entire eye, and my dad told me I looked sick. So, like, like sick as in like ill, not sick as in like that's so sick. So, um, fun fact. I find the most difficult part of doing makeup is getting both sides of your face to look the same. <laughs> Cause my face, I mean, it's not the most symmetrical face in the world. I got, you know, three beauty marks just on this side of my face, and then on this side of my face, we are completely beauty mark free. And my nose also looks entirely different depending on what angle you look at it at. Okay, I still don't think, <laughs> I still don't think we're at the point where we've messed this up completely, so that's a good sign. Uh, let's see what my queen does next. All right, look up. I'm starting with the brown eyeliner now. Works look quite up. well. Look up. I'm gonna line the under part of the eye. Now, if it's if it's my own eye, I like to get really right in there and line oh. like the very inside. I'm gonna line with the liner like a nice '60s line where the crease of the eye is. Obviously you don't want it quite that sharp. So then I'm gonna take the little spongy part and rub it in a little bit. Okay, so I don't have brown eyeliner. So my two options are either black eyeliner 
or brown eyeshadow. Um, I don't know which one I want to use, honestly, because I could go either way, really. I decided we're going brown eyeshadow because I feel like changing the color could completely fuck this up. So we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna we're gonna use the same little like chisel brush we used for the for the eye uh, eyebrow and just do it again. Uh, so we're gonna be using the uh, a Sephora miniature eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is like their brown one. I have one that's blue and one that's pink. This is my brown one, and we're going to be using the shade Coco. As you can see here, it's this one. You can't read it. It's it's that one. That's that's Coco right there. You know, this is actually looking great. What? I thought this was gonna look like shit when I did it. Um, you can't tell on the camera because on the camera everything just looks very red, but on on my in my mirror it actually looks really good. So we're gonna be using this kind of spongy makeup brush here to just blend it in a bit, because that's what Z does. But I'm also before I do that, I'm just gonna apply a lot more. One of my favorite things is that Z just does very controversial things with her makeup and I quite respect that as someone who thinks that there are no rules to makeup. Okay, so the eyes, I don't- they don't look completely symmetrical to me, but maybe they look symmetrical to you. Uh, but yeah. This is where we're at with the eyes right now. So now we're gonna see uh, what's next. All right, we're getting into shadow world now. Ooh. Currently you look kind of like somebody's beating you up a little bit, which actually is sort of the look that I'm going for. I like a bruised colored eyeshadow. Okay, so eyeshadow, um, she uses more brown. Uh, so we're gonna use a different shade of brown again because I have so many different shades of brown. All right, so we're gonna use this uh, Ulta XO NYX palette, and we're going to be using the shade right next to the blue right here, because that's a very dark brown, so we're gonna use that. Okay, so she's actually using a brush that I use a lot. She's using this style brush, which is great, because I love using this style brush. So here we go. She kind of just focuses on the corner, which is what we're gonna do, because we are following in everything that Z does. So if Z focuses on the corner, we shall focus on the corner. There is way too much eyeshadow on this brush, but it's okay. Okay. matching right now. <laughs> they are not matching at all. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god, they don't match. They don't match. <laughs> okay, part three, baby. We're almost done. Put some mascara on you. You're really not gonna enjoy this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so mascara. I'm good at mascara. I know what I'm doing when it comes to mascara. So mascara here, we are using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions. By Lash Blast. Here she is. Oh my god, I feel like such a beauty guru right now. I really tap this to focus on it. There we go. There we go. Alright, here we go. I actually think this is looking really cool because it's like I <laughs> it's definitely not the way I usually do my makeup so I look 
very different right now compared to compared to how I usually look. So um yeah, I'd say this is fun so far. I like to I like to put a little mascara on before the liquid liner comes. And this is where the real cat eye situation begins. Close your eyes. Thank you. Alright, so I'm gonna start from towards the towards the um I don't know, what do you call that? The deepest corner of the eye, but not totally there. All like kind of in the middle. And then I'm just gonna paint a little line. Ooh, yay, I love eyeliner. I love eyeliner. We're gonna be using the Sephora High Precision Eyeliner. Um, I prefer eyeliners like this that are kind of painty. Um, I know that there's a bunch of different kinds. These are my favorites though, because they're very easy to use and they have very, they're very bold and I like bold things. So she starts towards the corner, but not in the corner, whereas I usually start right in the corner. So that's gonna be fun. Here we go. Hey okay, everyone, we're back. Uh, I had to do a file dump because I ran out of space on my phone. So here we are. Also, sorry if you can't see any of this. This does not look bad at all. Okay. Again, I underestimate my skills and for what? That does not look terrible at all. <laughs> I just realized you saw none of that. Cool. Um, they kind of look similar. They're not perfect by any means, but you know what? They're kind of looking similar. You know, not perfect by any means. And it looks a little interesting. Cause I'm not used to not used to doing my eyeliner like this, but um, still looks pretty cool. It's weird when you do your eyeliner differently, it like changes the way your eyes look, and it's a little bit wacky. And now let's see what the queen does next. I'm not a huge blush fan. I don't like to it to look like you're actually like wearing blush, or really, it shouldn't look like you're wearing makeup on your face. That's my biggest problem with like all of this glowy contouring shit. Is like you look like you have a mask on. I just like. A little bit of like a light pink color. This comes off very translucent. This is some Dior shit I found somewhere. And then a little bit of bronzer because my face is always a lot paler than my body. All right, so I don't have bronzer, so um, I turned off some lights because they were hella annoying. But uh, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like such a makeup noob here, but what the fuck is browns bronzer? Because I have to figure out what it is in order to find an alternative for it. I like how I looked up bronzer and the fucking Pokemon came out. It's an E, bloody hell. <laughs> I spelled it wrong and I got the Pokemon. <laughs> we love that for me. Okay, so what I've learned from my research is that uh, bronzer is basically a tanning agent uh, s sort of thing. Uh, I I'm, I'm just looking at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, oh my God, I look like a completely different person right now. All right, so we're gonna be using this Marc Jacobs foundation that is like five shades too, too dark for my skin. It is in the color Shameless, and it's like too dark for my skin. Um, we're also gonna be using this Sephora blush in the color Sweet On You number five. All right, so what we're gonna kinda do is we're taking this big floofy brush. We're taking the floof brush. We're gonna take 
I'm gonna take a little bit of the blush and we're just gonna pack that shit on until your brush is kind of pinky. Now we're gonna take the foundation. I'm gonna use the tiniest little bit of that. Rub it in my fingers as well. So we're just gonna rub it in here a bit. And hopefully it's not going to fuck things up too badly. And just as an extra, extra precaution, we're gonna throw more blush on. All right, so I think we have a decent uh, blush bronzer combination here. And so then just across the cheekbone, just put a little bit, you know, for a little bit of color. So she just has a little bit across the cheekbones, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay. That doesn't look too different. Doesn't look terrible, which is good. Okay. I can live with this. This is like my signature Lady Danger. It's the only red I really like. Lipstick time, baby! It's really funny to put on just one half. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna be using this NYC lipstick in Retro Red. This is my go-to. I've been using this a lot lately. I noticed that Z's red that she uses on Alex is a bit more of like, like a kind of kind of sunset red, whereas um, this red is a straight up scarlet red. Obviously, our lips are gonna look a little different because I'm not using the exact same stuff that she's using. So now we're, she's applying lip, she's applying her lipstick with her finger, which I think is an interesting choice. <laughs> I'm not surprised because Z pretty much applies all of her makeup with the finger. So here we are, uh, my fingers are just completely covered in makeup products. <laughs> All right, but here we are, here's the finished look. It actually looks really adorable. I could sport this every day of the goddamn year. Uh, so first you're gonna see Alex Greenwald's side profile, which is gonna go here, and then you're gonna see mine. So yeah, um, that's that. I now look like Zberg. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon with more random nonsense. Bye! <laughs>